process which has been made that extradition is not going to touch and concern political opinions. It is isn't. And that's why I move along with the suggestion which has been put forward by my colleague, Senator Emilia Nkese. I think we know as a truth that most of these great countries are already cited by the USA and of course Europe are behind all of those who seem to think that their opinion politically must be respected and not the other way. Mr. Justice Keeper of State, that more and foreign affairs, of course, we should make it possible that we enter into treaties. It's not easy, it's more that the world leads of conventions, usages, and practices that are flourishing in all instruments of law. So those conventions, usages, like giving the authority and giving the, the respect and the sovereignty of all, <coughs> should be sine qua non. And so most of the treaties, we should go out again. The Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Foreign Affairs is here, we should go out and dig and bring out the treaties which you are still on study so that we can come and sign these countries, as Emilia, Honorable Emilia said, that we should enter. Because the, the war flourishing in our West and Southwest is as a result of these countries being sanctuaries for some of our people who think that their opinion was not respected. And if not respected, they should give arms for lives and property after to be destroyed. Thank you, Mr. President, very well for the opportunity given to me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.